Okay. <laughs> this is this is the last embedded type thingies we're going to be talking about. We promise for the show anyway. Don't play the game, change the game. Thousands of free games with built-in marketing tools, and it fits in your pocket. What are we talking about? The Pocket mm. Chip and Pico 8, now 49. Wet stinky caches for a limited time. Chip, that sounds familiar. Well, it should, because it is that not... Oh, seriously, all right, listen. I, I'm not politics, but you might not want to put Fox News on there. Um, <laughs> That's not a good oh, idea. Yeah, all right, if in all fairness, USA Today. All right, I'm playing both sides on this. Um... No, this uses the uh, $9 chip computer, which has a R8, uh, 1 gigahertz ARM processor, Mali 400 GPU. It's going to come with 512 of RAM, 4 gigabytes of storage, Bluetooth. One of the interesting things uh, they chose about the Pico 8, I mean, this is a case to put everything in with a battery, comes with a screen, 49 bucks. It sounds awesome, but the resolution on this is 128 <laughs> by 128 with 16 colors. So this is not going to be hipster pixel graphics. This is going to be pixel graphics, son. That's yep, the only yep. way you're going to be able to pull this off. But something that you need to ca absolutely keep in mind is this is not going to be shipping until, well, it, later this June? month, because, you know, I guess it's technically June right now as we're doing this. Uh, so kind of wait and see, because there, there was a lot of hubbub when they announced this and a lot of people that I kind of trust that said there's no way they can make this for $9. But if they found a way... I think it's really neat, uh, Strider. Well, the whole, the whole unit with the screen and keyboard and everything is $49, but yeah, that's still quite cheap. That's way cheaper than the Pyra, for example. When, well, it's not really comparable, but at least it's <laughs> something that is <laughs> really affordable. That's, that's neat. Uh, it looks uh, a little bit ugly, so I uh, hope someone gets a nice... Like, uh, case like uh you say it looks this? ugly all right I, I i like it i mean it looks hack that that looks like something yeah. you do not do not go through the tsa line with um <laughs> no that's going <laughs> no. to get confiscated right then <laughs> and there. it looks very hackish yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's it has a cool look but i mean it's really uh it does not look like a consumer device well, it isn't. What, yeah. They are actively trying to market it with the whole change the game thing. They're actively trying to market it to the hackers. It's like, yeah. get your own stuff running with this. And, you know, chances are someone will probably come up with the uh, 3D printing blueprint for the uh, for a case. For a case, but what it really needs is a proper keyboard, I guess. And that will require some... Uh, well, that can't be pretty printed, really. Well, so, make it thin maybe, enough. It's maybe, maybe something like yeah. the membrane keyboard of the OLPC X01. That would be good. No, yeah. no. I'm just going to make an attachment for my Model M, man. It's going to be brilliant. <laughs> click, 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 click. 